Hello, this is Dr. Saab. Uh, today I'd like to share with you two templates that you might need for patients coming in for a routine physical and uh, or multiple medical problems and they're seeing several specialists. Again, they're point of care templates that I designed inside of Athena. So let's start. Uh, so this patient's coming in for a routine physical. He also has COPD and he has an old MI and we referred him uh, to a gastroenterologist for uh, colonoscopy for screening for colon cancer. So we need to make sure that we keep track of all the specialists that he's seeing and uh, we need to make sure that we keep track of uh, what preventive tests we did for the patient today. So to do that uh, we can generate two templates. Uh, by clicking on any of the conditions, clicking on the plus sign, and then the first one is called Preventive Medicine Referral, and the second one is called Prescription Monitoring Referral, and I'll show you how those work. So, on the Preventive Medicine Referral form, Basically, you just click on that, and then if the patient is a female, you can put in when she had the mammogram, uh, whether the test was done or not, what the result was, and uh, when is she due for a repeat test, and, uh, and whether uh, this is not needed, let's say the patient has had a mastectomy, you can put, in, put that there, and whether the patient declined. You can also make uh, record bone density, colonoscopy, whether the patient had a cologuard, hepatitis C, if the patient had a, uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm screening uh, because of being a smoker, if the patient has had the ABI screening, um, carotid ultrasound, and uh, hemoglobin A1C, when, if, if it was done, you can just put in the date it was ordered, whether it was done, what the result was, and when it needs to be repeated again. Also, if they're diabetic, you can keep track of diabetic eye exam, microalbumin, monofilament, and then you can also keep track of the various immunizations that were given for the patient. Again, like all other templates, you can, once you save it, you can always find that same sheet again next time by going to find and then go to the results and then it'll be in the results section because it is a point of uh, uh, care uh, test so uh, and then once you're done with it basically you just click on discuss with patient and you close it and then you open it again and, and now it's uh, uh, you, you can uh, uh, you can unclick the, this and then it will open up again and you can add more stuff. As long as discuss with patient is clicked, it's usually locked. And if it's been previously saved and you open it on a future visit, you need to click uh, reopen and send to review. And then, uh, and then after that you can click edit document and enter the, any new additions to it and then uh, remember to save it every time you add something new to it. So that's the first template. The second template uh, that we mentioned was uh, prescription monitoring and the reason I'm using those names is we're restricted with Athena you know, what kind of names we can use. I don't want to use the name of a specific referral that we use all the time so it's not confused with it. So we only have a few choices we can use for names. Maybe in future uh, uh, releases of Athena mm -hmm. will have more choices. So prescription monitoring, basically this is a good template to help you keep track of the various specialists like, so in here you can write that, like for this patient we refer him to a pulmonologist, we can write that here, the reason is COPD, uh, we can write the date he was referred, uh, whether he went for the referral or declined, and whether the consult note was received uh, or not and if it wasn't received you can always open this sheet again by finding it in results and follow up on those referrals that we've already done 
And then once we receive the referral, we can always come back here, open the sheet, and enter the findings of the consultant right here. And so we do one for the pulmonologist, one for the cardiologist, and one for the gastroenterologist for this patient. I think I'll leave it at that for this one, but those are two useful templates that you can use for several patients. Uh, thanks again for listening. Bye for now.